Hello, Dodge and 7th grade band. Today we're going to be working on the Concert C major scale. For this, the first thing you need is your scale sheet. It should be in your band folder. If you don't have your band folder with you, you go to the content library of the OneNote class notebook. You will also need a pencil and, if possible, your instrument. All right, alto and Barry saxes, let's take a look at the music for a moment. The first thing you always want to look at is the key signature. This has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. The G sharp is the one we see the least often. And of course, like all scales, it's alphabetical order. Yours happens to start on the note A, so it's like saying our A, B, C's. We just have a bunch of sharps in there. Let's say all these notes, and let's do it two beats per note so we can keep a nice steady pace saying all the sharps when they show up. Ready? Say it. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. And the arpeggio notes, C sharp, E, A, E, C sharp, A. All right, alto and barry saxes, here's the plan. We're going to play the scale together, go over some pointers, and then play it again. Here we go, concert C scale. And one, two, ready? Okay, hopefully that speed was manageable for most of you guys. There's really nothing too crazy about the scale. You just have to remember that C is sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and G sharp is our one slightly unusual note. So it's a G with the top pinky key added right here, top pinky, and then A. Make sure you lift these two fingers together. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and play this two more times. We'll do it once, like we just did, making sure your sound matches my sound. You're getting all those sharps. And the second time, we'll do it double speed. I bet a lot of you would like to do this double speed when you turn it in. Here we go. Double speed. One, two, ready, and go. Okay, now all you have to do is get that assignment turned in. There's two ways you can do it. We have some Zoom meetings set up. And the schedule for that is in uh, Edmodo, and it will also be on the band web page, how to get to your Zoom meetings for that. You can play it live for me on Zoom. The other option is to use our OneNote class notebook. We're going to be using this class notebook quite a bit over the next few weeks, so it's good to get used to using it. If you go to, the, to your name, and then there's a tab under there that says Recordings. This is a recording. So... You go to the page, you click below the gray line, and go to the insert function. And under that insert function, there's literally a button that says record, record audio. You record yourself, it goes right to me and Mr. Westfall, so we can hear you play uh, this scale. All right, guys, push yourself, happy practicing, get some double speed going. You can't really do this two octaves smoothly on, a, on an alto or berry sax, so just one octave push yourself, try to go kind of quick. All right.
Happy practicing. Hope to see you guys real soon.